Are you looking for investments that could potentially double in just a few weeks? Or are you interested in revolutionary technology that could change the world? Stick around to learn more of both of these things in this video. What's going on one and all, it is Seedling Space here again to talk about space companies that are going public via SPAC mergers. And of course on this channel we like to talk about personal finance and investing, specifically slated towards the space industry. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive in. Now as you may have noticed, there have been a lot of hubbub around startup space companies that are going public on the stock market, with the likes of Virgin Galactic and Rocket Lab. However, there's something a little unique about how they went public. Rather than going through the traditional IPO process, they do it differently via SPAC merger, and this method presents a unique investing opportunity for investors like yourself. Before we reveal exactly what they are doing and how you can make money from it, let's see where all this started. So jumping back now to the year 2019, Virgin Galactic, the world's first commercial space line and vertically integrated aerospace company, went public on the New York Stock Exchange as of October 28th. Now, until recently, most space companies are large mammoths that have existed for many years, like Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman. Or they have been nothing more than the recent hobbies of multi-billionaires like Elon Musk, Richard Branson, and Jeff Bezos. But what's interesting is that each of these billionaires' companies was actually founded in the early 2000s. So while these billionaires are now starting to hit the news with all of their new technology that they've been developing, it's actually been in the works for a while. And that's really just a testament to the difficult barrier to entry that is the space market. Each one of these companies have been led by a multi-billionaire with tons of cash, a grand vision of the future, a sprinkle of crazy, and a lot of sleep deprivation. However, times are changing as space companies are now coming out of the woodwork to compete for market share and a chance to smash that like button. But really, just in the last year, companies like Astrospace, Rocket Lab, Black Sky, Spire Global, and more are just a few companies that have gone public via SPAC mergers, and even more are coming up. But don't worry, we'll talk about all the upcoming ones later. But first, let's actually talk about what a SPAC merger is and why it could potentially make you money. All right, so let's start to answer the question, what exactly is a SPAC? Well, a SPAC is a special purpose acquisition company commonly referred to as a blank check company. The goal of a SPAC is to select a company to merge with or acquire. This will provide the target company with a lot of cash to grow as well as taking that company public in the process. And when all is said and done, the target company will then be public on the stock market, allowing people like us to invest in them. And this will often come with a brand new ticker symbol as well. The SPAC is originally founded by a sponsor who will champion the company throughout the SPAC process, including the initial investment to get it started. And according to one article, this investment will typically translate into roughly a 20% stake in the SPAC, which are often called the founder shares. The SPAC will then file for an initial public offering or IPO to become a publicly traded entity, while also raising funds from various other investors. And of course, these shares make up the other 80%. And once public with a share price of $10, the proceeds are then placed into a trust account where the SPAC has roughly 18 to 24 months to identify and complete the merger with the chosen target company. And SPACs will often have a specific sector, list of sectors, or a unique type of company that it's trying to aim for for its target. Of course, the companies that they choose also have to be willing to move forward with the merger and or takeover. Now this means that they have to both agree on a fair evaluation of the target company, as well as their plan to utilize the cash received from the merger or acquisition. If all of these things transpire, then the shareholders will vote on the merger and if approved, will complete the process with all the necessary paperwork associated. From there, the companies will complete the merge and will be traded publicly on the stock market. Okay, so at this point, we now have a pretty good idea of how SPACs work, but how do they make us money? Well, let's take a look at an example. Vector Capital, a well-known private investment firm which specializes in the technology sector, created the company Vector Acquisition Corporation with the ticker symbol of VACQ. 
Formed in 2020, the SPAC announced on September 24th that it had raised roughly $320 million. Then in the following March in 2021, the SPAC had announced that it had made an agreement to merge with Rocket Lab with an evaluation of $4.1 billion, bringing in an additional $470 million investment via Private Investment in Public Equity, or PIPE for a total of over $700 million in cash on Rocket Lab's books. The merger was approved by stakeholders on August 20th, and Rocket Lab was officially trading on the NASDAQ capital markets on August 25th under the new ticker symbol RKLB. Now let's go ahead and take a quick look at the chart to see how the price moved during this time. So we see starting out, it's at that $10 mark, which is what we expect to see for a SPAC. And then there was a massive spike in March related to the announcement of the SPAC merger, before then cooling off and then going heading back down to that $10 mark. Then we see another massive spike in August upon the completion of the merger. And since then, it's been one wild ride. So let's say you bought in at the $10 mark when it was a SPAC. Well, at this point, with the price being around the $12 mark, you'd be positive nearly 27%. And if you sold at the high, you could have been positive over 100%, which is not too shabby at all. Of course, timing the highs and lows are not realistic, so it's slightly a mute point. So let's go ahead and take a look at another example. So we have Virgin Galactic, which is trading under the ticker symbol of SPCE. Originally it was trading at the $10 mark during the SPAC, and before it had actually completed the merger. Then following the merger, it had actually dropped down to $6.90 before spiking over $40 in just a three month time frame. And these kind of gains far outmatch the typical market average of eight to 12% a year. So you can imagine this could be a really good avenue for your stock portfolio. However, there's a lot of risks associated with it, but more on that later. So looking at the list of space SPACs that have been completed, we see that Virgin Galactic started it off in October of 2019. However, this year of 2021, there's been a plethora of companies that have gone public, such as AST Space Mobile, Astra Space, Rocket Lab, Momentus, Spire Global, Redwire, Black Sky, and Planet Lab. So those companies that I've listed are all publicly traded and have completed their merger. However, there are still three that I know of that are in their SPAC form before their merger, which might make a good opportunity to buy. And those look like Satellogic, Virgin Orbit, and Turan Orbital. And like we had mentioned, if you buy in at that $10 mark, it could potentially explode and leaving you with a lot of profit. Or it could also plummet and take money away from you. And the reason for that is it's highly speculative. And a lot of these companies being startups don't have a lot of financial foundation to provide strong growth. So now for the big question, why do you care? How can we, as normal Joe Smos, benefit from companies using the SPAC vehicle to raise funds? Well, as we've mentioned, once the SPAC is on the public market, you can potentially make an early investment to the company at the $10 mark, which could one day finish its completion of its merger and then go parabolic, leaving you to rake in the profits. But SPAC investments may be risky. If a SPAC is unable to merge with a target company in the typical 24 month time frame, then your money could have not gained any value. Rather, it could have been losing value to, due to inflation which could end up being a far cry from trying to beat the market. And SPAC mergers have become very popular with the technology industry, which has already proven to be a riskier, if not completely speculative investment versus other types of companies. And we can see that here with the example of Spire Global, which has completely dropped to almost half of its value since the opening of the SPAC, meaning you would have been down over 50%. So is the aerospace SPAC craze coming to an end, or is this just the beginning? SPACs have been around for many years, and frankly, I don't see them going anywhere anytime soon. I think that the space industry will continue to grow, and SPACs are one avenue for companies to raise funds, and it gives investors like you a chance to make profits. As far as I can tell currently, it looks like space SPACs have slowed down a little bit since earlier this year but I definitely think we'll continue to see more over the next few years. Now with this information in your toolbox, go forth and conquer. I hope that you can use this information to make your stock portfolios go plus ultra. If you found this video insightful or useful, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me provide you guys with more content that you want to see. 
and I will see you guys in the next video.